waiting for his cue. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Tasha from GLE TV, and I am out here in Times Square with. My name is Bill. I'm from Bill. Hell's Kitchen. Oh, so that's, that's around here, here right? Is, yeah, this is Hell's Kitchen. I'm from Hell's Kitchen, yes. So how have you been feeling since this whole pandemic? Very weary and tired and exhausted and all those things have been going on, but I have hope that we'll still get it together because I want some sort of normalcy. I want, to, I want it to go back to normal, but we'll have a little bit more being, we'll be more enlightened to tell uh, how to treat each other now. So I have hope, I'm still hopeful, but I'm a little exhausted because it's been exhausting, yeah. Yeah, so you're just ready to be back outside? Oh, I'm always outside. I work oh. outside. I have to be outside. I'm never going to, I'm not going to stop being around people. This is what we are. We're, we're, we're people of habit. We like to be around each other. I'm not no, letting no disease keep me isolated in the house. I just ain't doing it. So how do you feel about the people that are terrified and haven't left the house since March? I feel sorry for them because <laughs> that's the reason why they're getting sick because they're sitting there breathing in the same air all the time and they're not getting air. They're not coming outside, letting some sunlight hit them, letting some fresh air. They'd rather be a prisoner in their own home. I'm not being a prisoner in mine. I'm coming outside and I'm being around people because that's who I am. I'm just a people person. How do you feel about what took place in Washington, D.C. two days ago? I, I've never I'm not seen. even surprised, honestly, <laughs> because Donald Trump is a tyrant. Everybody knew that he wasn't gonna give up office. He said it. He said, I'm not, even if I lose, I'm not, I'm not relinquishing power. He wants to be a dictator. He's trying to bring communism into democracy. It's not gonna happen. So yeah, I'm not surprised at what happened, but I'm glad that people got a chance to see what he's capable of. Now everybody knows that what kind of man this man is. And it's time, and now he's getting out. Now he has to go because they already, the Congress already confirmed that he's, that he's gone. Joe Biden is the next president. It's over. There'll be another surprise before the Absolutely. What do you what do you think? Conspiracy talk. <laughs> I'm a conspiracy theorist. I've always thought that way about Trump. Trump has never he didn't win the election the first time, in my opinion. He beat he robbed Hillary Clinton because the Russians interfered and everybody knows it. And then somehow he was able to whitewash that and clean it up and say, yo, there wasn't the truth, but it was. The Russians helped him. And then turned around, when he got cute, they turned around and slapped him in the face. Like, listen, motherfucker, you ain't nobody like that. You ain't, it ain't like that. Trump is a loser that had, that was born into wealth that he didn't earn. He, he didn't have anything. He worked, he, didn't, he worked about this much for it. And now everything he owns is in some, is in China's name. Yeah, that is very true. That, you know, this is, a, I'm not saying nothing that ain't fact. He is a, he is a, what do you call it? A bitch <laughs> for another country. And that country is now telling them, listen, you're gonna do what we tell you or this is what's gonna happen to you and your regime, whatever he wants to call a regime. But yeah, Trump is out of there, I'm glad. I'm so happy because he wanted to take a country, build a wall around it and make them pay to be in their own prison. Kind of crazy. So, do you think he should take more responsibility for what had happened? Absolutely, because he's one of the people that orchestrated it. That's why people don't realize that Trump had more to do with this this pandemic than people realize. It got out of control. As a conspiracy theorist, I am. <laughs> it got out of control. It hit him. Then all of a sudden, he's like, "Oh shit! I did let this get a little too far." Now, all of a sudden, a second strain comes out of nowhere. He's trying to kill off as many people as he can because the ones that have don't want to share with the ones that don't. That is what pandemics do. They kill off the, the poor, the weak, and the old. Why do you think that disease attacked all the elderly first? Right. Well, well, thank you so much for your, your opinions and comments, and I appreciate it so much. You're welcome. And that's GLE TV.